In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify one of these Tigan or ACTAM mechanical recoil units for use with the Open Panzer TCB. Here's the unit itself. It has a lot of wires and it looks rather confusing, but by the time we're done, it will be much more simple. Now these units are two in one. There's a barrel elevation motor on one side and a recoil motor on the other. On the back there are two limit switches and the first thing we're going to do is remove one of them because we won't be needing it. Later we will need two extra wires and you could save the wires from this switch for that purpose. We're going to attach them to the barrel elevation motor. Or if you just have wires of your own, you can throw this switch away. Now we're going to remove several other wires that we don't need and even some that we do need to be attached in a different order. So you'll need a soldering iron for this but really no other tools than that. We don't need this little blue wire. We're going to remove that and throw it away. And we're also going to remove both wires that are attached to the barrel elevation motor. These wires connect to a three pin plug and we want to keep that plug because that's what we're going to use to connect the recoil motor to the TCB. So we need to use those wires for the recoil motor instead. Now we don't need this white wire either. We're going to remove that. You can throw it away. Already this is looking a lot more simple. We're going to remove one more wire which is this thick red wire on the limit switch on the back. Take it off and throw the wire away. We're left with this yellow wire which travels from the switch to the negative terminal of the recoil motor. And to make it easier for ourselves we're going to mark the positive and negative terminals of the recoil motor because we need to wire this motor in the correct order or it won't work properly. We're going to wire the three pin plug to this recoil motor. There will be three pins, motor positive, motor negative, and one wire to the trigger switch. First we need to remove the wires from the plug because they're going to be inserted in a different order than it comes from the factory. And you can use a thumbtack or a toothpick or some other sharp object to remove the cables from the plug. Now here again it's important that we attach the wires in the correct order so I'm going to mark them here on the plug. We have motor negative, motor positive, and a signal wire that will go to the limit switch. Now we're going to reinsert the cables into the plug but before we do that when we remove the cables we depress this little tab using the thumbtack and they won't stay in the plug if they're still squished down so we need to lift those tabs back up. I'm using a little knife here to do that. Now at this point there should only be one wire still connected to the unit. That's this black wire and it should be connected to the recoil motor negative terminal. So we're going to plug that into the negative slot on our three pin plug. Next we will use the red wire, plug it into the motor positive terminal of our plug, and then we will solder it to the motor positive terminal. So this is what we have so far, motor positive and negative attached and you'll notice the yellow wire that goes to the limit switch is connected to the negative terminal of the recoil motor. Now this is our final cable. We're going to plug this into the signal slot of the three pin plug. And then the other end will be soldered to the middle terminal of the limit switch on the back of the device. Which you can't see very well here but I'll show a close up in a moment.
Now you can see the yellow wire that goes to the motor negative terminal and the black wire that we just attached which goes to the signal pin of our three pin plug. And that's all you have to do for the recoil motor. We'll tuck the wires up here and we're done with the recoil motor. Now the barrel elevation motor is extremely simple. We just need to solder two wires to the motor and we don't even need a plug on the end because we have screw terminals on the TCB board to power the barrel elevation motor. Here I'm using some two conductor wire that I already had but as I mentioned before you could use the wires from the other limit switch that we discarded earlier in the video. Also note there is no polarity on the barrel elevation motor so it doesn't matter which terminal you solder which wire to. I'm going to twist these recoil motor wires just because it makes it a little more easy to work with. And now the unit is completely done so let's plug it into the TCB. The three pin plug that we created will plug into the recoil port on the TCB. And of course as always if you forget which plug is what you can look on the back of the board and it's all listed right there. The barrel elevation motor wires will attach to the motor B outputs. There's a motor A and a motor B. Barrel elevation goes to motor B, which are these ones here. And again, for the barrel elevation motor, the polarity is not important. Of course, the motor B output is also listed on the bottom of the board. Now before we test the unit, let's make sure we have the correct settings applied. On the Motors tab of OPConfig, under the Mechanical Barrel section, we want to make sure that we have a Mechanical Recoil Unit selected. Under the Drive and Turret Motors section, we need to make sure the Barrel Elevation Motor is set to Built-in Driver. And you'll see that it tells you to plug the motor into the Motor B screw terminals, which we already did. Next, of course, you'll need to write these settings to the device. Now we're ready to test, I just need to plug in my receiver. And a battery. I have the left stick of my transmitter set to control the barrel elevation motor, which is this one on the right here. So that works. Now let's try the recoil which I have set to this switch on the top left of my transmitter. So that's it. Now you know how to modify a Tigan recoil unit for use with the Open Panzer TCB.